Guys, I'm at uh, so guys, I'm at Precision Auto Care. I had to make sure the camera's running. And the uh, Envoy, as you guys can see back here, is now in the shop. Uh, needs a starter. So if you guys saw that live stream, we're going to go ahead and get it done. I've made the decision that we're going to hold on to it. And we're probably going to give this truck away to one of the subscribers. So stay tuned to that because we're going to do all the mechanical stuff that needs to be done to it first, like the starter. Um, I got a lean code this morning, so it could be a vacuum leak or something else like that. But we're going to try to take care of... Um, all the stuff that needs to be taken care of so that the truck can be reliable and safe and then um, we'll go from there so there you have it all right <clears throat> what's Randy said another day another dollar yeah it's about what, about what I'm spending so we're at the shop the envoy is in uh, I think I might even cover this earlier in the video I might be backtracking or double dipping or whatever you want to call it but uh, the envoy is on the lift and you guys can see it here the starter is getting done now. Um, anything else we have to get done, to get done, they're gonna let me know. Uh, but basically, starter replacement that we know of at this point, relays just for shits and giggles because if I'm gonna put a new starter in it, we should do the relays as well. Um, and we're going to uh, look over anything else that needs repair. If there's like a major mechanical thing that needs a repair, we're gonna take care of it. And uh, basically what's going to happen at that point, uh, it's then going to go to a body shop, we're going to clean it up, and yes, like I said in the live stream, we're going to give this truck away, uh, and it's going to be like a multi-channel thing. Stay tuned on that. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's going on with my morning today, and this is what's going on with my morning. So for those that you were wondering if my starter was shot, yeah, that fucking shot starter was shot. <laughs> That Bendix moves up all by its, look at that. Holy shit. Yeah. So that thing was just wore out. Yeah. It's a uh, transmission here. and got a little bit of fluid at the rear seal. Uh -huh. But that's not really a big deal. Uh, I wonder if the tapping, because that's... I wonder if the tapping could be from here. No? Yeah. So you'll see, when you, when you drive, you'll hear it. It's, it's like a... Tap, 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 tap. Almost like a like a coat hanger on uh, aluminum, mm -hmm. but it doesn't do anything. That's why uh, I was like... Sometimes that kind of stuff just has to fester until it comes to you. Yep. You know, but you know, I was thinking emissions, I was checking the cats, and nothing. But I was like, it only does it under load. But... <laughs> we'll take it for a little test drive and see yeah. if we can't get anything out of it. Cool. Alright. Alright guys. So you can see a little bit of the stuff here, like the some stuff maintenance wise that we'll have to take care of on this thing, like this rear main seal. That right there comes as a kit. Yeah. Like I'm surprised they didn't do it when they did the torque converter. That's they should have had it. Right. The plate goes, the seal goes in there and the plate goes back and there's a torque sequence for that right. as well. So many foot pounds for each bolt because there's actually little enclave oil passages that go uh, behind that. And that's where you get your leakages from on these five threes. It's notorious. Right. We do a lot of them. I mean, if not, she'll have that all. The starter has been replaced, as you can see up here, new one's in, and uh, <laughs> yeah, the oil filter here looks like it's going to be a pain in the ass, huh? But, she's ready to go. He did point out a couple other things to me that I need to address on the truck. Um, these tie rod ends, uh, basically because of the rotors and stuff are a little loose. See that? Not good. And same thing on the rear end. So there's a couple other things that we're gonna have to address on it, uh, like the rear end, uh, doing the pads and rotors and brakes and whatnot. So we'll probably get that stuff addressed on it too. But uh, yeah, some leaves and shit.
But uh, yeah, stay tuned. Yeah, so you got it. <laughs> you can see where it's shaking back here. So it's pretty common with pads and rotors go bad is to run out in the rotor basically that causes the vibration from the caliper floating, which causes the problem with the bearings. So guys, basically what this is telling you is don't be fucking cheap with your vehicle. If you're yeah, trying to do your shit, get your shit done right so you yeah. don't have to be spending thousands on a damn thing. Nominal thickness on these things only gives you about 7,000 stock. There's a heck of a lip on this rear rotor, if you'll notice. Oh yeah, look, I can stick my, look at this. That, that was nominal thickness there. And yeah, when they, they only come with about seven, 8,000 stock on yeah, them. Yeah, they're not thick like they used to be. No, they used to be a lot more. <laughs> you used to be able to machine them joints. They make them now where you have to replace them or else you have problems like daddy balls. Yeah. Yeah, they always look a little off like they don't fit right, but... Something like that has a fix it. You've seen it. The starter is now complete. Um, I want to just send a special thanks out uh, to Precision Auto Care for taking care of my truck. Um, look, man, this was a job that was supposed to take like five hours, six hours, and they got it done in like an hour and a half. Like, just professional dudes, man. They got they got the work done, and they're also they also didn't have to tell me about some of the other stuff. You know, sometimes places won't tell you about stuff until it's broke. Um, I like the fact that they were like, you know, hey, you might want to look at this. You know, we're not telling you you should do this right now, but here's something that you can look at. I like shops that are like that because they're not like out to get you, especially if they know you can afford it, right? They know I can afford to fix everything on the truck. They can just give me a list and say, hey, you need to do all of this. They didn't do that. I like that. I like somebody that they're just honest or upfront. Um, and this is not an ad for them. I just like shops that are honest with their people. Somebody who may not be car uh, car smart, so to speak, or understand what's going on with a vehicle could get taken for a ride at another shop. Not here. So I definitely respect them. I'll put a link. I'll put their phone number and information in the in the comments or in, in the in the comment section or in the description if you want to check them out. If you happen to be out this way in Tennessee, whoa. <laughs> Definitely go see them. Somebody's car is like flapping down the street. Yo. Anyways, they're out trying to diagnose another issue in the truck. That tapping noise that you've heard in other videos. They're out in the truck right now trying to figure out what that is. Um, because they can't figure it out. I got a brand new torque converter, flex plate, and all that stuff on the truck. I do have a rear main seal, which you did see. That whoever did the torque converter and whatnot didn't do a good job. So we will do that rear main seal at some point and a couple other things to try to, uh, you know, address some of the oil leaks. It's probably why I was so low on oil. But uh, yeah, there you have it. Stay tuned. I got more videos coming for you guys now. Now that the car hauler is back on the road and can move, I will be moving cars, man. So let's let's get it going. So you hear that tapping shit when you accelerate on it? Yeah, that sounds like a valve rattle. Really? Yeah. Neutral doesn't do it. It's only under load. Yeah. And it's what's also crazy if I have it, like if I'm towing shit, like if I put cars behind it, two, three cars behind it on a trailer and I'm pulling, nothing. Only when it's by itself. Now I've taken the tops off and looked at the valves to see because I thought I had a tick. Well, it, would be, it would be like probably play on the lifter itself. You know, the, the, wear, the wear where the, the cam touches the top of that load where you'd be having a little bit of play right there. Okay. You so with the fuel system cleaning and all that stuff, we got a fresh oil change installed. I'm good to 214,000 miles. She's running good. I don't even see any more smoke. They seafoamed foam, the uh, shit out of the intakes and all that stuff and cleaned off the valves. So we really appreciate that. Let's take a look at what we had done. All right, so we had a cooling system flush, brake rotors, brake service, brake cleaner, bunch of different stuff. And something I didn't expect, the fan clutch, which we caught at the end, uh, which the truck was overheating a little bit. We also went ahead and we got washer fluid and whatnot done. We got the fuel injection intake system done. Um, Seafoam cleaner, all that good shit. So, fourteen hundred bucks, uh, almost fifteen hundred bucks in total in work that we've had put into the truck today. Not bad. I think that looks 
a lot better. Now, there's stuff I'm going to have to touch up. Obviously, the car wash couldn't get those rims clean. That shit is disgusting. Uh, the running boards probably should be sprayed down, too. You know, like little shit like this that these car washes miss. You know, just a little stuff, you know. Try to get it clean. Try to make it look nice. You know, treat, treat it right, and the truck will treat you right. So, I'll try to tighten up. See... If I pay for a car, half of the fucking shit, man, that shit is a joke. It's a fucking joke. You know, it's like, look, like, even the shit up here on the fence, okay. I'm not happy about it. Whatever, fuck it. Well, with a little bit of effort and elbow grease, exactly what I didn't want to do, I put the elbow grease in, and we got these all nice and shiny. Um, for this video, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hype. The truck runs like a champ. I can't believe it. I was about to give up on it. Really, it really, really was. But now, no tapping. Uh, I do need to do those modules in the transmission, the solenoids, shift solenoids. At some point, I'll do those. We're going to do a couple more things to it. Um, you know, I probably will do those rear end bearings and stuff. Um, soon. I just tapped out. I only had 1400 available to spend today in cash, and I spent it all. Anyways, um, on my way home, I guess. Let me know what you guys think about the video in the comments section below. Questions, comments, hit me up. Peace.